What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I do want to talk to you guys about Minecraft versus Roblox. Which game is better? So today I want to get into the video, but make sure you guys go ahead, hit the like button. Just absolutely destroy that like button. But um, anyways, before I get to the video too, let me know in the comment section, what game do you guys like more? Do you guys like Minecraft or do you guys like Roblox more? Because I have to say, these two games are by far the biggest block games in history of, I guess, video games. And I know it gets a lot of a uh, bit of like, I don't know, pe people really debate which game is better, which game they play more. So let me know in the comment section what game you guys play more. But anyways, today I'm gonna be breaking down both of the games and kind of sharing the reasons why Minecraft and Roblox are great games as well as why some of them are actually better than the other game in certain aspects. Well, first things first, you guys obviously know Roblox and Minecraft are two separate games. They're different games. You can't really say they're the exact same game because they're not. However, though, a lot of features are very comparable and it might shock you. And this video actually might bring some things out that you guys might not even really have known or some nothing or something you guys didn't really realize how similar Roblox in Minecraft are becoming to be it, it's it's crazy a lot of similarities have started between the two over the last few months especially a lot of things that Minecraft has done in the developmental side is really similar to how Roblox is run obviously Roblox is a much older game it started out in 2006 the early days of Roblox are kind of unheard of because they were just a small gaming um, like game and and it was a really, you know, it wasn't really a focus in the gaming industry. However, though, Minecraft really blew up, especially in like the beta and alpha stages. So it took a few years for Roblox to get to where it's at right now. Obviously, some big investments as well as some new people in the developmental side of Roblox really made Roblox as big as it is now, which is pretty amazing. But anyways, though, Roblox and Minecraft have a lot of similar similarities and a lot of differences but I feel like as the months go by the similarities are increasing and it's kind of shocking so anyways you guys clearly know Minecraft is of course a survival game you can play survival mode or you can just do creative mode where you're free roaming you can do whatever you want to you can build whatever you want to you have every single item unlocked in your inventory Roblox on the other hand is different pretty much every single roblox world is its own server or own mini game where minecraft it's free roam do whatever you want to do create whatever you want to do survive and find what you can explore in the world when roblox has a select direction like rules you have to follow in order for you to actually enjoy the content in that roblox server Minecraft, of course, does have a certain amount of servers too. However, though, it's kind of interesting what Minecraft is doing and what they have been doing these last few months, especially, which is kind of crazy. I've, I see like there's a lot of, I would say, inspiration from Roblox that is creeping into the development of Minecraft. But before I actually get too far, I do want to talk to you guys about some of the main key things that you guys need to keep in mind when I talk about this video. First things first, the PVP system, as well as like the way you guys interact with your characters, are a whole lot different. They're very different from each other. Um, Roblox, I guess, can be played in third person as well as first person when Minecraft is strictly first person. Even though you can go into the third person uh, like view, you really can't play Minecraft in third person. You would really struggle playing Minecraft in third person. So anyways, with that being said, keep that in mind because the aspect of Roblox is really interesting because not only is it super clean to play Roblox in third person, it'd be kind of interesting to see if Minecraft would actually develop a really useful third person type of technique to watch and, and play the game with. So that'd be kind of interesting. Another thing too I do want to talk to you guys about is the whole cross-platform 
capability. If you guys did not know, Roblox is one game. There's only one Roblox game. Recently, Minecraft combined like a bunch of different types of their versions of the game into one. Originally, there was like the Minecraft um, like PC version or the Java version. There was the Minecraft Xbox edition, which later came like the PS3, PS4. There's a Minecraft 3DS edition, Minecraft Wii U edition, and then of course Minecraft like on the Xbox One, PS4. Like the new consoles, like games built by 4D Studios, was a lot different of how Minecraft ran on the PC. Then Pocket Edition ran completely different than it did on the PC version or the Java edition as well as the console edition too. So essentially at one point there was like three different versions, I guess you can kind of say four now, um, of the game because 3DS is way different from any other version right now and of course you can't play cross-platform between the two. So with that being said, it was kind of all over for Minecraft. Obviously they need to combine the games in one, so they made the Better Together update for the Bedrock Edition. So now you can play Xbox, you can play your mobile phone, or you can play on Windows 10, and then eventually the, the Nintendo Switch and play Minecraft together. So I have to say it's kind of confusing, especially to new players trying to tell them about how you can play Minecraft with different versions, or what version is different. I feel like the average like gamer that is new into Minecraft would have no idea that there's different versions of Minecraft out there. When Roblox, of course, is just one game. There's only one version of Roblox and it was already built cross-platform. Roblox, of course, started on the PC. Then, of course, they moved to like the mobile edition as well as Roblox on the Windows 10 and Xbox edition. If you guys did not know, you can actually play Roblox on your Xbox, which is pretty crazy. And I know for a fact that's pretty insane that you are able to play the same game, you can have the same account, and you can play Roblox on all those different types of systems, including playing on the Roblox multiplayer servers. If I'm correct, some of the servers are of course limited on different versions, so you wouldn't be getting the full experience if you'd play on your tablet rather than if you play on your PC, simply because some of them aren't just like, I guess they're not like like mobile phone compatible or they're not tablet compatible, which is kind of a disappointing feature, I guess, of it. But regardless though, it's still kind of cool that you're able to play majority of the great servers on Xbox, on your tablet, as well as on your computer, which is pretty crazy. And this like technology has been around in Roblox for some time now. When Minecraft is playing a little bit of catch up where they actually made a brand new update just to include the, all these different types of versions you can play on the same servers. However though, even though Roblox does have some limited servers you're not able to play on, there is some very interesting things you guys need to keep note. Because even though Minecraft does have servers on the Xbox version, it is very limited. You can only play currently on the NPVP, Mineplex, and Lifeboat servers on your Xbox. So I know they're going to be adding in some more like servers, but it's very similar to how Roblox was, where if you play on different versions, you're kind of limited to what servers you can actually play on, which is very interesting. So anyways, with that out of the way now, you guys clearly can see that Minecraft, instead of actually typing in the server ID or IP, then you actually can go ahead and click on a server to play, kind of similar to how Roblox is ran. So Roblox has a super interesting marketplace that Minecraft is getting very close to and it's very interesting to see as time advances how similar Minecraft is getting to Roblox. So what am I talking to you guys about? So first things first, the Roblox community marketplace is very very massive it's huge and it's really easy to upload your own items and put them on to the roblox community marketplace i even have my own items on the roblox store right now you can actually get a, like a true triz 
t-shirt on Roblox, which is really cool. How many of you guys in the comment section own my Roblox t-shirt? If you guys don't own it, check it out. I think I'll have a link down in the description so you guys can go ahead and download my Roblox shirt, which is really cool. But anyways, get into the video here. It's super easy to get involved and upload your own work into the Roblox marketplace, but it's also very different so if you would upload a community marketplace item maybe you guys upload a shirt like what i did and you put it to the, com uh, the community marketplace and people purchase it virtually using robux robux of course is the currency that is currently in roblox and in order for you to get a robux you need to get like a gift card you can get them at stores and of course minecraft just came up with their Minecraft marketplace. Very, very similar to how Roblox is ran. Of course, Minecraft has the Minecraft coins and Roblox have the Robux. However, though, it even gets a little bit further. So in Roblox, if you guys want to upload your community item to the community marketplace, you actually get paid back in Robux. You don't actually get paid in real US dollars or Canadian dollars um, or euros, whatever country you guys are in, you do not get paid in a currency that you can actually use outside of Roblox, which is super, super interesting. When Minecraft, if you guys are a partnered um, like creator for the marketplace, you will actually get paid in the real currency, like real US dollars, which is very awesome. It's very cool that they give creators that opportunity. However though, it'd be kind of interesting to see maybe Roblox changes their policy. Um, I know currently they have it, so if you have a certain amount of Robux, you can actually go ahead and you guys can transfer it back to like real US dollars. But at the same time, it only has to happen when you have a certain amount of Robux. So you need a lot of Robux to actually make real money off of your community catalog. But this also goes to silver, or I should say, server builders too. So if you run a server on Robux, or Roblox, you will actually get, if you have like in-game items, you'll get paid back in Robux, which is interesting because Minecraft, obviously if you go into servers and you buy something, you, get, you, you buy it in coins, which those content creators that have servers of in-game stores will get paid back in coins. They can have like a third party site, but it does get a little bit, I don't know, a little bit sketchy because there's a lot of like legal issues that could actually happen for Minecraft server makers if they actually are charging on their server. Like I said, it's really easy to get involved in the Roblox community marketplace and put your own items on the marketplace. However though, Minecraft is actually hard. First of all, you need to qualify for it. You need to have a certain amount of qualifications. You need to have like a business. It has to be some like very good content. They won't let you throw anything into the marketplace. Obviously they want quality, which I do respect, but even though if you do qualify, you may have some like really awesome types of builds. If you guys actually go through the Minecraft Community Marketplace Partnership Program, they have to review it. We can take a long, long, long time to actually get um, your like review back. And they actually have the opportunity to deny you from being a Minecraft Marketplace partner. So. I know it's a little bit harder to get involved in the Minecraft community marketplace when on Roblox because you can join it instantly if you guys have the Builders Club. But overall, it's very interesting to see how Minecraft is becoming a lot like Roblox, especially in the form of cross-platform capabilities as well as how their marketplace is working now. Clearly the game dynamics is going to be different forever. Um, it's interesting too because I actually haven't seen too much of Roblox take ideas from Minecraft so I, I don't know uh, maybe I'm, I'm just seeing more of Minecraft taking stuff from Roblox but overall it's something to look into because I have to say it's kind of interesting. With that being said though, Minecraft by far has the best community support 
ever out of any video game. It's crazy. They have Minecon Earth or Minecon events. They have the community events. They have great merchandise. You have to get at stores. It's really awesome. They really do a great job of bringing the game to life. When Roblox really slacks on that aspect, I know they just started getting some like types of like Roblox toys on the market, but they're really late to the game and there's really not a lot of Roblox merchandise as well as there's no community events. They really don't have like the minecon of Roblox yet. So it will be kind of interesting to see if Roblox ends up doing community events. They have like some type of meetup or something like that. But for right now, Roblox has done a really bad job getting the community involved out of the game, which is something that they really need to pick up on. So anyways, you guys heard my whole spiel. I hope you guys maybe learned a thing or two, or maybe you guys are kind of shocked by some of the things I said. I know by far I still love both of these games. I love Roblox. I love Minecraft. Personally, it's going to be awesome to see what these games turn out to be in the future. I'm really excited to see what Minecraft does in the future as well as Roblox. So by the end of this video, I hope you guys did see a new aspect or maybe kind of saw a different perspective of how these games actually work. Well, let me know in the comment section right now what game you guys do like. I mean, like I said before, I do like both of them. I don't think one of them is better than the other. They're equally awesome and equally epic. There's a lot of awesome things you guys can do on Roblox, and there's an awesome amount of things you can do on Minecraft. So anyways though, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. We will for sure catch you guys later. Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe if you guys are new around here, and let me know what games you guys play. But anyways though, my name is True Triz. Have an epic day, and remember guys, stay true. Peace.